Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. After years of overcrowding, the Coon Rapids License Center is set to double in size by early next year. CTN's Dan Carpenter tells us what it means for those looking to renew a passport or driver's license. Renewing vehicle tabs. Yes, they want. It's a necessary chore so many dread. Make it look more like October again. Whether it's renewing a driver's license or getting a new passport, everyone must wait their turn. I thought it'd be less crowded. <laughs> Zero, eight, eight. Proceed to station. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Out of all licensing centers in the county, this one on Foley Boulevard and the Blaine location are the busiest. But here the wait is just one piece of the annual tab renewal tradition. Well, the whole experience is about an hour or so wait with no chair to sit in, so my back was kind of sore. But when I got to the counter, it went by real well. By early next year, finding a seat will be a lot easier. Now we're going to expand into these two bays that have become available. Both the Passport and License Center will expand into more than 3,000 square feet of space. Well, it does double the space that we currently have. The Anoka County Management Committee has agreed to lease the new space through the year 2037. The landlord, Foley Partners LLC, agreed to pay for the build-out construction and a decrease in the rent to $19 a square foot for the first three years. Right away, it'll, it'll give us places for people to sit. As for wait times, Anoka County Commissioner Gamash says computer systems are improving, and a decision regarding hiring more staff would only come after the expansion. If we continue to have um, issues where, there, where it's back up and things like that, um, then I think, yeah, we could, we, could, we could look at that and we'd have to talk about that in, in management committee and, and that type of thing. But we haven't really looked at that closely. The Passport Center will be the first to move in November. And the construction is going to begin any time. It's a change this Coon Rapids resident looks forward to seeing when the time comes around again. But it's going to be expanded, right? That's right. <laughs> Dan Carpenter for CTN Update. Proceed to station. The cost of expanding the facilities, including furniture, totals nearly $200,000, money already set aside in the licensed center's operating budget. The reopening of Hanson Boulevard at the railroad tracks has been pushed back once again. The roadway is not scheduled to reopen until November 27th, which is the day before Thanksgiving. Last week's weather delayed work on the railroad bridge as crews continued setting reinforcement iron. The first layer of asphalt has been placed on various parts of the project and crews continue to construct retaining walls. Hanson Boulevard has been closed since the beginning of March. Another project which forced the closure of Foley Boulevard is also behind schedule. Foley is closed between Northdale Boulevard and 121st Avenue. The Sand Creek culvert system is being replaced as part of a street reconstruction project, but the work has been, been more difficult than anticipated. Foley Boulevard was supposed to reopen late last month, but it's now looking like it won't reopen until October 25th at the earliest. After about a 10-year hiatus, Coon Rapids High School is bringing back its veterans program. Students will gather for an assembly on Veterans Day to honor those who've served our country and also the families that are impacted. Um, one of the things that we want to do to sort of make it unique is kind of our theme is the sacrifices also that families are making when they have veterans within those families who have served. So some of our kids are going to get up and talk about that. What's it like to have a mom or a dad who has served and, and how, do, how does the other parent sometimes or the kids have to make sacrifices there too. The Veterans Day program will take place Monday, November 11th around 9.45 a.m. and will last about 45 minutes. A reception will follow with refreshments. The high school is looking for veterans interested in being recognized. They also need speakers. If you'd like to help out or know someone who would, call 763-506-7124. The community is also invited to the Veterans Day program. The Coon Rapids Police Department will be collecting unwanted and expired prescription drugs next weekend. The collection takes place Saturday, October 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the lobby of the Coon Rapids Police Department. Used EpiPens and other sharps are not accepted. Events like this are being held across the U.S. as part of the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration's National Drug Take Back Day.
The following day, the Coon Rapids Ice Center is holding its annual Spooky Skate for both kids and adults. The fun takes place Sunday, October 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at the door. Admission is free for those five and under when accompanied by a paid admission. Come in costume and enjoy open skating, walk the spooky hallway, and more. All right, that is going to bring us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here again next week.